Hi, welcome to this SQL tutorial video and today we're going to look at the if statement. So the if statement is a statement that you'll use in a, a functional store procedure in a, in a chunk of code where you want to work out if a, a piece of logic is true or false and based on that um, result you'll perform a particular action or you won't. So as an example I will um, I'll declare a variable Um, and we'll say, and then uh, the if statement logic is simply you say if, and then your condition goes in the brackets. So you can say if at today is Tuesday, is Monday rather, and then to finish it, um, you put what you want to do if that logic is true. So I'll say. And that's it. Um, I should be able to run that, and it will um, it will declare a variable. It will do my check, and because this is true, it will execute this line of code. Now, if I just put here um, another piece of code, so we're we you know we're further down this bit of code here. If I execute this, we're going to get two results. One is to say that this is true and the second then says hello okay but if I change this to be Tuesday and I execute this we don't get this first bit because the if statement here says if this is true execute this and then this bit is not part of the if statement the if statement began and ended there and um, what the if statement kind of the rules to the if statement is You've got your condition in here, and if that condition is true, it will execute the next statement as part of the true element. So if it's true, it'll execute one more statement, and the rest of the code will execute regardless. So the next statement is simply that select. It could be a big select, or a big insert, or an update, or a delete. It could be four or five lines big, but it, it will only execute the next complete statement which is in this example here. Now, if you want to execute two pieces of, of uh, two statements or more, more than one really, then we need to put a begin and an end. So now in here, if I move this into here and we execute it again, we don't get anything back. Because it's done this calculation to say is today Monday? No, it's not, it's Tuesday. These now belong to the true element of this um, statement there. And if I change it back to Monday, we should get both back. So the rule is if you don't have a begin and end, SQL will only execute the next. Um, statement as part of that true logic and then the rest of it will flow so as an example now if i if i run this is monday we're going to get the same results as we have here but if i change it to tuesday we get this hello even though this select hello looks like it belongs as part of the line above it doesn't it's got nothing to do with it because there's no beginning and end the if statement starts and ends there now we can add else so in that case our if statement starts and ends here the true element is this and the false element is this and again if we wanted to have more than one uh, statement executed as part of the false element we will put begin and we will put end So today is Tuesday, so it isn't doing that, but it's doing that. And then if I just put, um, it's it's gone to here, it's run them two, and then it's gone to here and it's run that. And if I change that back to Monday, it's gone to here and it's gone to here, but it's not gone into this block. You can put more than one condition in here. So you can say if today is Monday or today 
equals Tuesday. If I can type. Um, and then I change this to be Friday. It's gone into the hello by. But if I change it to Tuesday or Monday, it's gone into this bit. In your um, if and in your else, you can add an S in if. So you can say if today equals Monday or today equals Tuesday, then you can say if in brackets today equals Monday. Um, then we'll say today is Monday. And then we can say else select today is Tuesday. So when you're doing these statements, your best, um, it's kind of good practice to tab in um, within each if statement. The next, the, the actual statement that you're going to run as part of the if is best to be tabbed in so that you can see logically that this statement, that belongs to this statement, this belongs to the else statement. Then we're back down to here, which is part of this statement, and then we've got these bits that belong to this statement. Um, it just kind of reads a bit easier. So if I run that now, today is Tuesday. So this has found this to be true. Then it's coming to if statement and found this to be false. So it's gone to the else element and it's executed that. Now let's just make this into a bit more of a practical example. But just Actually, before I do, just bear in mind that these ifs and, and, and the, the nested ifs, you can, I can have if, I can have if, and then an if, and then an if, and then an if, you know, I could do if it's Monday, if it's Tuesday, if it's Wednesday, I could have lots and lots of ifs. Um, lots of else's with lots of ifs. Any, as long as, as long as you set it up correctly, you can have as many ifs and else's as, as you want. Um, but yes, it can get very complicated. So if I change this now and I say, at city. Um... And I'll say equals. Now I've got a table in this database. Um, let me just execute it just to see what columns I've got. City name, okay. So what I want to do is say. Um, I want to say if select count from cities where city name equals city. oops sorry let me just now um i'll just get rid of this so with the other if statement in order to complete it we had to put what we're going to do um so i you know i could say um select star from cities but that's not going to fix our issue so what this is <clears throat> we need to have some sort of logic here so in this bracket here, we've got um, a select, but that's just going to return a value. Um, oh, sorry, it won't run without that um, city being declared, but that's just going to return either, uh, the amount. It's either going to be um, zero or one in this case, but it could be any amount. It's going to return a value anyway. So what I want to know is, before I do anything with the, the, the city object, does it already exist? And if it already exists, fine. If it doesn't exist, I want to insert it in my table. So I want to say, if select count from cities where city name equals my variable if that equals zero then i can say insert into cities values um, um, then Wrong with that? Well, yeah. Sorry, we need to move that to there. And then, if I do a select star from cities, so London wasn't in the table. It did a check. It said, um, "Is London there?" And then it inserted it because it wasn't there. <clears throat> but if I run this again, 
it's not obvious what actually the logic um, what's happened with the if statement so if I just do begin and I'll say end I'm also as part of this going to say select city was added so if I run that there's London but if I change this to be uh, Liverpool and I run that city was added or even maybe I'll say something like um, um, and then if I change this to be I don't know um, Newcastle Newcastle was added so you can see there I've, I've you know ran a piece of select in order to return a value in order to do my logic for my if statement That's the end of this video on if statements. Um, if you liked it, please give me a thumbs up. If you've got any comments, um, it's all appreciated. Um, it helps me with my, my content. Thanks for watching. See you next time.